everybody, it's Christopher and Wayne. We're here at the beautiful Lackawanna Station Hotel in Scranton, Pennsylvania. We've had a great time riding. This is our third annual uh, boot camp weekend. Have you liked Scranton? Oh, uh, Scranton's a dream. Yeah. You know, they've, they've been great to us. You know, they put us up in this beautiful hotel. Go search out uh, the reviews for Lackawanna Station Hotel. They're great. Phenomenal place. I mean, you couldn't have a better riding atmosphere. You've got history and beauty and, and scenery all around you all the time. So seriously, check out those reviews. It's a little windy today. Yeah, blustery. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for someone with hair like mine, it's getting a little crazy. You'll notice my hair doesn't get messed up. We've been co-authoring the book and uh, we've been using Scrivener. Uh, check that out online. And uh, we've been using iChat as well, so that's how we keep in touch with one another while we're writing the books. It's a little easier seeing as how uh, Christopher's in upstate New York and I'm in Maryland. So it gives us a communication avenue that uh, really helps you know, write the book together. A lot of people have been asking us, uh, so what's it like to co-author a book? Um, aren't there a lot of difficulties and conflicts and aren't you jostling around <laughs> to see whose stuff gets used? Actually, I think the first step, if you're thinking of co-authoring a book, is to, to make sure that you're a good match with the other author. Totally. Um, and Christopher and I knew you need, that. You need to be able to do this. Ah! So making sure that you're compatible with the other author is huge. Um, I think with that too comes your, your common vision, that you, you, you kind of come to that literal place of finishing each other's sentences and uh, it's the same ideas that get you going or the same ideas that they find interesting too. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, I noticed that Christopher started ordering for me at the restaurant, so um, that's getting a little scary. I'm a little worried about that. Um, that's just between <laughs> you and us though. A writer's voice that's, you know, pretty matching with the other person. And Christopher and I both like to uh, go with a lot of action. Right. Um, we're both uh, pretty keen on, on theme-based and uh, character-based novels. So, um, you know, what we're really trying to do here, Christopher, right, is uh, not just have my voice or your voice, but have our voice. We'll each take an idea of a different uh, element of the book that we're just excited about. And so we'll write that idea out, whether that's a, a character in a certain setting, uh, or, or, or a particular scene, and, and we'll just uh, we'll run with that. And then once once we feel like we've kind of gotten our energy out on it, we'll send it to the other person in an email. Um, we're, now we're using Scrivener now, so we we use uh, we trade a Scrivener file back and forth. And so the other person will read through that draft, make all their little corrections, and they won't even tell you what they've corrected. They're just they just put it in there. The idea being that if you notice it, then it's a big deal. If you don't notice it, then the story is cohesive. And so, uh, other things we put in comments about what the, you know, how the plot should go, or did you think about this when you were writing this particular scene? And, and then those revisions will go back to the other authors. So we'll trade, we'll trade one one section of text maybe five or six times before we have something that we feel is has integrity. So really, what you're seeing is we've given each other carte blanche to make changes. Um, knowing that the other is not going to care, and if, if it stands out so much that we notice, then we'll go back and take another look. Right. And there are sometimes things we can't figure out, you know, we'll put a query down there, Wayne, what did you mean the gnome had webbed, <laughs> webbed feet? Um, so, that, those kinds of things help when we pass the manuscript A flatulent barrister gnome? A flatulent? Oh my goodness! <laughs> With webbed feet? <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much how we're doing it so far. It's not like we are uh, writing the manual on how to co-author. This is our first time. Right. So far, it's working out pretty well. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, of course, you did you did bruise me pretty good last night when you disagreed with me about that character flaw. You weren't supposed to mention that on air. Well. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day and uh, check out Lackawanna Station Hotel. There's some good reviews online. Peace.